Hey guys, Carl here. Today in Python, we're going to be working on lists and how to use and create lists. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First thing we want to do is we want to create a numbers list. So in order to do that, what I want to do is come here to say nums. Let me move my mouse out the way so you guys can see. And we're going to use these brackets here. And I'm just going to pick a few of my favorite numbers. Three, two, and one. And then I'll come here. So once I hit enter, what's going to happen is it's going to give us our very first list. So now that there's a list, the list has an index. The index consists of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 because we have 23, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So therefore, if we say nums 0, then we will get 23. And if we say nums 3, we will get 2. We will get 2. What if we wanted to start at a number and then just give us the rest of the number? So let's just say 3 for an example. So what we will do is we will come here and say nums. And then I want to say it's 0, 1, and then 2. Come here. And now we got 3, 2, 1. So this is great. And I know now you're asking, well, can it do negatives? Of course it can. So let's see. Let's come here and say nums negative one. Just like I've showed you before, if you've watched previous videos, there's both a positive index and a negative index. Negative index starting from right to the left, which means negative one would be one, negative two would be two, negative three would be three, negative four would be four, and negative five would be 23. So let's go ahead and trust that out. So if we say nums negative five, then we will get 23. So now we're cooking with grease. Now, what if we wanted to make a list of names? What about that? So let's try to do that. So we're gonna say names. And this time, I'll just pick a few of my favorite names. <laughs> my name, and we can't forget our single quotes. So me, James, and let's just go with this, Kevin. And if we hit enter here, we get no errors, which means we have created a list of names. So now we have a list of names. What if we wanted to create a list of different types, something like values? Can we do that? Let's see. So if we come here to say values equal, let's give it a float number. So let's just say 2.5 and then let's give it my name. And then let's give it a whole number. And then if we hit enter, we don't get any errors. And if we do values, what do we get? Now we get a list that consists of different types. So yes, that is possible. What if we wanted to do something where we combined it to lists? Can we do that? Well, let's try it. This time we're going to call this a unit since we're going to be combining two lists. And I'm going to say nums, names, I'm going to close this bracket, hit enter. We've done that. So now all I have to do now is hit unit. And now we have combined two different lists. So we just called it unit, but this unit is this unit consists of those two lists. Another thing you can do in lists is perform operations. Another thing you should note, lists are mutable. So that means you can also change the value. Let's go ahead and test that out. So if we come here, say nums. And then what if we say append? What append means is it's going to add a value at the end. So let's just say we added something like 33. Or well, matter of fact, let's add 8. It's another one of my favorite numbers. So if we go here at 8, hit enter. And then if we come here and say, now give me nums, what happens? Now we got the additional 8 that's been added on to the original list that we created. What if you didn't want to add that number at the end and you wanted to add that number somewhere in the middle? How would you do that? Well, remember, all of the lists consist of indexes. 
So now this index just got bigger. So it went from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 being 8 now. But what if we wanted to add something between that 4 and that 3? So 0 and 1. So what we will do to do that is we will come here to say nums.insert. And this time we want to add that index, which is that 1. Then come here and say the number we want to add is 45. Another one of my favorite numbers. Hit enter. And if we come here and say nums now, what happens? Now we get 23, 45, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 8. So that is how you use the insert in Python. Let's go on and go a little further. I'm just going to scroll up here. What if we wanted to remove a number? Is that possible? Well, let's try it out. Let's say nums.remove. And the number that we want to remove is, let's just say, that 45 that we added. If we come here, we see we get no syntax errors. And if we hit nums, now we see we have our original list before we added the 45. And now it's just 23, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 8. Yes, we can remove items from our list as well. Another thing we can use is pop. Now, pop removes the last element added. So if we come here and say pop, and then we just do this, what happens is pop shows us, okay, the last thing that was added was eight. So this is what you're removing. So now we can come here and say nums, and now we are back to the original state before we added the eight. So now we just have 23, 4, 3, 2, and one. And that's what pop does. Pop removes the last element that was added. Now looking at what we have, what if we wanted to remove three, two, and one, and we just keep 23 and four, how will we do that? Well, there's something else in Python we could do. We can say delete or del nums. Now we're back to our brackets. And then we're going to say 0, 1. And now we'll say 0, 1, and 2. We want to start at 2 because we want to start at 3. Then we'll come here, close it off, hit enter. We get no errors. And if we just do nums now, we should have 23 and 4. And now we just have 23 and 4. And 3, 2, and 1 has been removed or deleted. Now, what if you wanted to add values back to that list? Python also lets you do that with something called extend. So let's try this. So let's say nums extend. This time we got to go parentheses and bracket because we're adding a list, another list in here. And we're going to be adding on to 23 and 4. And I'm just going to add back what we originally had, which is 3, 2, and 1. So I'm going to say 3, 2, 1. I'm going to close this off then i'm gonna hit enter we get no syntax error so we're good so far and then i'll hit enter again and now we have added those values back or you could have added different values really just depending on how you're using python in this exercise so feel free to use your own numbers another thing you can do in python is use min max and sum well how will we do that well let's let's go ahead and test that out and try it so this one, I will use min. So I'll say min nums. And what it's going to do is give me the smallest number, the minimum number of nums. And if I hit enter here, what happens? It says min is not defined. Did you mean min? Well, that means what we have to make sure that we do is we have to make sure it's, it's not capitalized because it is case sensitive. So we'll say min nums, and now we have one. So what about max? We'll say max nums, and the maximum is 23. Well, what if we wanted to add all of those up? We'll say sum nums, and the sum is 33. So it's important that you know that not everything is going to work or everything is uniquely defined or universally defined because like in our case we had min which is the capital m in the i n is not defined however min with the lowercase m is defined so keep that in mind that syntax so keep that in mind as you type out your syntax that some things are uppercase and some things may be lowercase for the most part i think all things are lowercase last thing we want to try here is what about sort can we sort these numbers let's try it so if we come here and say nums dot sort 
and then we come here nothing happens which is good and we hit nums what happens now we have sorted it one two three four and 23 and that is how you use lists in python